what is going on YouTube this is Arctic Fox welcome back to the channel today I wanted to hop on here and bring you the latest update in the abduction of six-year-old George Jojo Morales who's been missing from Miami Florida since the 27th of August investigators believe that an abandoned vehicle that was found in Littleton Maine may be connected to the disappearance of Jojo Jojo was reported missing from Miami, Florida on the 27th of August. He is believed to have been abducted by his father, George Morales, and his paternal grandmother, Lilium Pena Morales, according to several news releases and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Investigators with the Miami-Dade Police said that the personal items believed to be related to Jojo were found in the Littleton vehicle and that Jojo, his father and grandmother may be found in Maine or Eastern Canada during this time. Both Jojo, I'm sorry, both George and Lillian Morales will be facing felony charges of custodial interference according to the release. Jojo's mother, Yannette Leal Concepcion said in the release that she and Jojo's father shared custody during the past few years, but feared that he had been planning this abduction for some time. She also said that George talked about living off the grid and that he had been using only cash to pay for his expenses over the last year in preparation for that. Concepcion said that her son Jojo is on the autism spectrum and sometimes experiences difficulty communicating. This is an Amber Alert, and it's received very little media attention until now, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They are asking people to focus on the two adults in the case. If you keep a watch out for either of them, little JoJo will likely be nearby. Investigators ask that if you have information related to JoJo or his disappearance or the suspects involved in the abduction, that you contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-843-5678 or the Miami-Dade County Crime Stoppers at 305-471-8477. Guys, my heart goes out to this mother. You know, the child's got autism. He has difficulty communicating. So even if, you know, he were to try to tell someone that something was wrong, he may have difficulty in doing so. You know, JoJo was picked up from his mother's residence at 9.15 a.m. on the 27th of August in the 23700 block of Southwest 184th Avenue by his father and his, pater his paternal grandmother. Child never returned home, and this violated court orders that were in place according to law enforcement. You know, we, we need to bring little JoJo home. And the fact that this man was practicing to live off the grid is frightening in and of itself. We don't know what type of situation JoJo's in, if he could be in danger, but we do know that we need to bring him home to his mother, who is worried sick about her child. So guys, do me a favor. Give this video a like. Let's get this latest information out there. And if, and if any of you are in the Littleton, Maine area, and you'd like a digital flyer of JoJo to hang up in your local area, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to provide you with any type of flyer that you would want for JoJo. I just want to bring this child home safe to his mother, who is completely devastated that her six-year-old little boy is missing. So, let's get his face out there. Give the video a like. It does help more people to see JoJo. And obviously, the more people that see him, the better the chances are that we can bring the child home safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider clicking that red subscribe button. It does help the channel out a lot. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll be alerted every time I post new content. But the most important thing I'm asking you to do, above anything else right now, is to simply click that share button. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media, guys. It only takes one second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world in whether or not we're able to bring little JoJo home safe. 
As always, guys, I do thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I'll see you soon in the next one.